It's Ash from Super Videos back for another one. We're back to talk about The Walking Dead. In this one, we're going to take a look at The Walking Dead's third spinoff, which is called World Beyond. So during the recent San Diego Comic-Con panel that they had for World Beyond, they did tease at a possible story revolving around a search for a cure for the zombie virus. Now, this story revolves around a character who is Iris and Hope's father. Iris and Hope being the two young girls or young adults, teens, whatever you want to call them, that are at the center of the world beyond story. So their father is actually a scientist and there's a possibility that he's actually working for the CRM. CRM being the Civic Republic Military, the large organization that's overseeing three other communities, the Omaha colony, which Iris her sister and their father are from being one of them. Now we're going to go through an article that comes from comicbook.com to read a little bit more into what they actually revealed. I did watch the panel itself. We're going to go through the article. I'll leave a link to the article in the description so you can go and check it out. So the article reads, The Walking Dead Universe's new character could cure the zombie plague. Now this is a little clickbaity, but at the same time, there's some truth to it. So it's not a complete clickbait title, but it is a little bit. The mysterious zombie virus that has plagued The Walking Dead's universe for a decade could be cured by a key character appearing in limited event series, The Walking Dead World Beyond. The spin-off taking place 10 years post-outbreak introduces Dr. Leo Bennett, played by Joe Holt, described as a renowned biochemist and a geneticist working with the Civic Republic military. Not necessarily that he works for them, but he's just helping them. He's working with the CRM, the Civic Republic military, to develop a potential counter to the widespread pathogen that causes the freshly dead to reanimate as fresh hungry empties. Empties, of course, being what World Beyond is calling the walkers. So walkers in World Beyond are not called walkers, they're called empties. Bennett's research inspires the survivors in his home community, including daughters Iris, played by Elia Royale, and Hope, played by Alexa Mansour, who say their father is away doing important work that will one day benefit us all. So it seems like they are kind of going that route where maybe they have a scientist that's working on a cure, but... To be completely honest with you, I don't think we're going to see a cure in World Beyond. I've said this before, but as soon as you introduce the idea of a cure, you're putting an expiration date on the main theme of the story, which is zombies. So I think they're going to move away from that or stay away from that. I do know that Robert Kirkman is strongly against it. And I think I remember Scott Gimple saying that they're not going to explore that part of the story or the cure story that much. But I think based on the information that they've released, they're gonna have a small story revolved around a search for a cure, but I don't think they're actually gonna find the cure by the end of World Beyond. He is brilliant. He goes off to try and teach the wisdom that he's gained about what he's discovered in terms of trying to cure this plague, this epidemic. And so he goes off to another community to try to impact his wisdom and help them along. That actually reminds me, Maybe one of the reasons why Elizabeth, who is one of the representatives of the CRM, comes to the Omaha colony is to take Dr. Leo Bennett away to do his thing in another community. So maybe the fact that she's there to participate in their monument day is not the primary reason why she's there. I could be wrong about that, but I think that it's possible that one of the key contributing factors to why she shows up is because of Dr. Leo Bennett and the work that he's been doing at the community. Bennett's work puts him under the thumb of pragmatic CRM leader Elizabeth Kublek, Julia Ormond. One thing I do want to mention, I think they did reveal that she's not the actual leader, she's one of the representatives, an authority figure who is clandestine behavior i don't even know if i pronounced this word right but behavior puts her at odds with the rebellious hope she's basically a high up figure in a soon to be discovered new community a quite authoritarian community or mindset of elizabeth so it seems like yes they are saying an authority figure so basically a representative so she's not the main leader but they are saying that she is part of an authoritarian group 
or community. So CRM is an authoritarian group or community, meaning that they don't have good intentions. Ormond said, more kind of along the lines of pragmatic characters, which I think in terms of walking that often skews to maybe the sociopathic people. So she might have some sociopathic tendencies, just like we saw with the governor, maybe a little bit different because, you know, she's been able to lead this large organization called the CRM. She's not the main leader, but she's probably one of the key representatives or authority figures as they put it. Someone like the governor, I don't think would be able to lead a big organization like this. These two characters now join a small group of characters investigating a potential cure. In the first season finale of The Walking Dead, CDC scientist Dr. Edwin Jenner, Noah Emerich, speculated the virus origin could be microbial, viral, parasitic, fungi, or even the wrath of God. Franchise creator Robert Kirkman ended his comic book after 193 issues without revealing the origins of the zombie apocalypse. I hope that the story that they have with Dr. Leo Bennett is a little different than the story we saw with Dr. Edwin Jenner at the CDC. Because if it's not, it's a little repetitive. So I hope that they make it feel fresh and unique on its own. World Beyond co-creator Scott Gimple teased the two season limited series will pull back the curtain on the incredibly secretive CRM, who we now know are behind Rick Grimes, Andrew Lincoln disappearance from The Walking Dead. The organization will then play a role in The Walking Dead feature film, revealing what happened to Rick after he vanished abroad a CRM helicopter. CRM was hinted to be working towards a cure in Fear the Walking Dead, where Althea Maggie Grace learned the organization's black-clad soldiers will eliminate their own people in the name of operational security. So yeah, I do remember they did tease a little bit of that on Fear as well. Describing the CRM as the future, Soldier Isabel, Sidney Lemon, wanted Althea to be fearful of anyone wearing the group's uniform black jacket telling her we are a force who are not living for ourselves or for now. According to Isabel, CRM's cryptic mission is about the future and rebuilding what we all once had. When Iris and Hope confirm suspicions their father is in danger, the girls leave the safety of their home, the campus colony of Omaha, Nebraska, and journey into the world beyond. On a cross-country rescue mission with friends Elton, Nikolai Cantu, and Silas, Hal Cumpston. Not too much to talk about at the end of that. They were pretty much telling the high level story arc for season one of World Beyond, which we've already kind of discussed in other videos. But with that said, I want to know everyone's thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section below. What do you think about a potential search for a cure story on World Beyond? Do you think that it's actually going to lead to a finding to a cure? Or do you think that it's just a plot device to get the story where they want it to go? and connect CRM with the World Beyond story in a way that makes sense and doesn't take away too much from the movie that we're gonna see later on. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.